Welcome everybody to Talks for the People, episode 29. We have got a fun episode for you. It is a rematch of sorts. Last time these two went head to head in a Disney trivia, it came down to the final question. And uh, remind me, which one of y'all won that one? <laughs> it's me. So, Not Disney, but still. Tonight, <laughs> tonight, Steven has his chance for revenge, and he might have a little bit of an edge as he just got back from the happiest place in the world. So we'll see if that has any... Gives him an edge tonight, because tonight's not your normal Disney trivia. Tonight, we are taking things in a new angle. I am going to describe the plot of several Disney movies, but I'm going to do it rather poorly. And these two are going to have to guess which movie it is. Cody, I see you're enjoying your vacation right now. How's it going, buddy? Oh, it's nice, man, other than it's hot as... Uh... Hot as fire down here, and uh, <laughs> but uh, no, it's great. It's uh, been relaxing, very very much needed R and R. So, as you can see, the lovely resort behind me, the lake, the pier. Wish I was there. I wish I was there. Oh, and... yeah, I'll be wishing I was on that boat with you <laughs> in a, later this year if you get to go. It'll be fun. It's you, looking you see, promising. Uh... It's looking good. You miss a good weather by a week because last week I don't think that the highest high was like eighty seven. It it hung out between like seventy five and eighty seven all week last week. It was amazing. That's how it was this week uh, early, but the yeah the last two days and the next two days are supposed to be like on the forecast. It says hot, hot, <laughs> ninety seven. No. And for those of you that don't know, our, our last few, uh, last couple of podcasts were pre-recorded because uh, Steven just got back from vacation. He's enjoying that back-to-work depression right now. How was your vacation last week? Down chilling with the mouse. Was amazing. Got tons of photos. Actually, 1,927 photos to be exact. And <laughs> God. I I took a lot of photos, and then we have some from the Disney Photo Pass. There's only like 112 of those, so the other 1,700 something were I took myself. But uh, it was amazing. Lots of good food. Stuffed myself with turkey legs and funnel cakes and all that jazz. So yeah. sounds like a good time. And I'm being typical, Alan. We're six months into the year at the time that this podcast releases. Well, almost. We'll be two days shy of. Six months into the year now and still hasn't even taken a single day off. So oh, I do no. this I do this to myself every year, but hopefully, hopefully in September I will finally get to take my cruise. It's been postponed for over a year and a half now. So glad we're getting back to normal. We've already been to one concert. I have tickets to my next two concerts. I'm going to see Corn and Stained in Atlanta, and then the very next night I'm seeing Rise Against. Here in Alabama, Alice Cooper and Ace Freely are coming to town on October 14th. And the concert floodgates are just opening back up. And my wallet hates it, but my brain is very, very happy. That being said, uh, if you're new to the podcast, we usually have a little other things. You can go check everything else out. But I know you probably clicked on this video because of the thumbnail and to see this game so without further ado let's get into the game all right gentlemen i have 17 disney movies and y'all can just police yourself i don't have the setup to keep score tonight so uh what we're gonna do is i'm gonna give you a poorly described plot of a movie and I'm going to need you to tell me what movie that is. And Cody can't cheat. The two examples of this I showed him are not in this list. <laughs> All right. Number one. An orphan gets adopted and then reabandoned. 
Oliver and Company? No. Oh, no. Uh, man, I don't know. It's good. Steven, any any second guesses? Um, no, I have no idea. That's the fox and the oh, hound. This, this is a great start. The <laughs> fox and the hound. The fox and the hound. Uh, okay, no, that's a good one. That's my favorite. How did I do that? <laughs> God, I told you. You got to think deep. These are very poorly described. Some of these are going to be easy. Some of these are going to be a little bit easier. Some of these are really poorly described plots. Okay. A smart arthropod overthrows a tyrannical government. Arthropod. Uh -huh. Bringing science into these descriptions. What you got? A smart arthropod. Ropod overthrows a tyrannical government. Hmm, these are good. Y'all don't have a clue. <laughs> uh, Big Hero 6? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, do you, do you want a hint? Hold on, wait. Let, let me... Uh, yeah. Emperor's and, new group. Uh, an arthropod is an invertebrate animal having an exoskeleton, a segmented body, and paired jointed appendages. Come on. This include Pixar? It does. Bugs Life? Yes. Yay! <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> next one, number three. A, goo a group of children, led by an older boy, gets harassed by an angry, handicapped man. <laughs> Come on now. This is, this is one of the ones that's supposed to be a little bit easier. Say it again. A group of children, led by an older boy, gets harassed by an angry, handicapped man. Come on. God, these are hard. <laughs> a group uh, of children led by an older boy gets harassed by an angry man. Angry handicapped man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, 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 oh Peter, Peter Pan. Pan. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you listening on audio, I had to show them a hook hand. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that. I do not have hope for the rest of these with y'all if y'all didn't get that one. Oh, Stephen, we gotta we gotta step it up, bub. <laughs> Number four, a feral child keeps barely not dying. What? Uh, Finding Nemo? No. Come on, talk through it. A feral child keeps barely not dying. <laughs> Come on, Snow White. Raised by animals is a hint. Oh, uh, Jungle Book. Mobile. There, there you go. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go a little bit old school with this one. That's your hint. It's an older movie. I mean, oh, these are Disney. A lot of them are older, but this is modern day older. Gotcha. Dinosaurs learn a lesson. <laughs> y'all are blowing my mind. Y'all are like the Disney, like, y'all, y'all killed the last game. It's amazing how y'all, the plots are throwing y'all for a loop. This is great. This isn't poorly, it's terribly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, just look. Uh, How many Disney movies have dinosaurs? Just, I mean, Dinosaur is one of them. There's one literally called just Dinosaur. What's well, bad is the only thing I can think of is Land Before Time, but it's not a Disney movie. It is? It is a Disney okay, movie. Okay, Land Before Time. I didn't think <laughs> it was a Disney Time's movie. Well, it was in my list of Disney movies with poorly described titles, so fight me. Okay, I'll get a half a point for that. This is not a Disney movie. <laughs> okay. Only, you get half a point I mean, that was, a, that was what I was thinking of, but I was like, 
that's not a Disney movie, so what okay. else could it be? This next one gets a little racy. Are y'all ready? Let's see if y'all can get this one. Comatose Miner gets sexually assaulted. <laughs> oh, Snow White. Not, no. Sleeping Beauty. There you go. Oh, that's what I meant. <laughs> hey, okay. I wouldn't have got it if you hadn't said Snow White. Yeah, I gave, I gave it away because I said the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here you go. You get a dictionary out. These big words are getting me. <laughs> Deformed baby gets ridiculed until it gains a superpower. Superpower. Incredibles? No. no. Don't focus too much on the superpower as just like a magical power. Hunchback of Notre Dame? Notre no. Dame? Deformed baby gets ridiculed until it gains a superpower. Pinocchio? No. Getting closer to the right era, though. Sword in the Stone? <laughs> he wasn't deformed. <laughs> the Incredibles oh, baby like either. the only one that has a superpower. Yeah, yeah this is when y'all are going to kick yourselves if I have to tell you. The only hint I can think of will give it away. All right, hands on buzzers. Circus. Jumbo. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what's the superpowers thing? Yeah. That, when, since when did fly? you when did you know an elephant that could fly? That's not a superpower thing. He just has some goofy airs. So, so Superman's not. That's not one of his powers. Flight. No. no Dumbo has. Wings to fly. Superman just <laughs> did it. Okay. This next That's one. That's sort of hard. I'm, I'm focusing too much on individual words. And I'm like, yeah, like you no, said before, you are. like don't focus yeah. too much on superpowers. Yeah. A poor girl. <laughs> a poor girl becomes rich. Cinderella. There you go. <laughs> next one. Sentient wood goes on an adventure. Now, this one, focus on what it's saying. Think about it. Y'all do know what the term sentient means, right? Self-aware. Able to think for itself, self-aware. Sentient wood goes on an adventure. I will tell you this. One of y'all have already guessed this movie on a previous question. Sentient wood. This one's going to make a lot of sense to y'all when I say this one. There's not going to be any questions when I tell y'all this one. Y'all, this one you will kick yourselves for. Sentient Wood goes on an adventure. He has a sidekick that wears a top hat. Or a friend, not a sidekick. I don't want to throw you off any more than these descriptions already are. He has a friend that wears a top hat. <laughs> Pinocchio! Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he, yep, he was a, a puppet made of wood. Uh, that's probably the the first one to me that makes complete and utter sense. Once I hear it, it's like, oh, of course, I should have known that one. Okay. Wealthy old woman has a dog killing problem. Uh, Cruella de 101 Bell. Dalmatians. <laughs> Just name the person. Did you say it? I, I said Cruella DeVille, so I had the right movie. I just didn't say the movie. I said the person. Oh, that's fine. I mean, you knew, you knew what it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's another easy one, in my opinion, but I've got the answers right in front of me, apparently. Sheltered teen makes a deal with a witch so that she can kiss a boy. Little Mermaid. There we go. <laughs> I, I just watched that movie like two nights ago. <laughs> <laughs> a large group of friends ignore a young boy whenever he tries to hang out with them. Toy Story. There you go. <laughs> okay, here's one. Crossdresser stops a war. Move on. <laughs> he's pulling ahead, Cody. He's getting you now. Yeah, he's, he's so far ahead, I can't catch up. <laughs> uh, apparently, I'm definitely, I am definitely on vacation this week. <laughs> Old war. Old woman remembers her favorite song after her grandson dies. Coco. There Anastasia? We go. What'd you I, say? 
Coco. Coco. <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet. Me. <laughs> I haven't seen that one either. It's pretty good. I highly recommend it. It's a, it's a very good movie. Scary guys get a college degree. Oh, uh, Monsters University. <laughs> there you go. Come on, Cody. You need to save face. I think, you know, I, I'm not making excuses, but I'm having trouble hearing. Nah. I, right there, I heard, I heard guys get a degree. I'm guessing you scary. said scary. Yeah. Yeah. He said scary guys, yeah. Yeah. I, get, I thought you said Harry at first, and I was like, <laughs> Well, one of them is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I like the elements are getting me today. <laughs> it's, it's all, all good. good though. Two sisters. Two sisters bicker over harvesting a fugitive. Cinderella? No. Harboring. Sorry, I wrote the wrong word. Two sisters bicker over harboring a fugitive. This is a good one. This is good. New school or old school? I would put this in the new school category. Two, but not... But it, it's still... It's still... I think it is still... Uh, 10 plus years old. Let me check. Two sisters oh, yeah. Bigger. No. It, the movie is 19 years, almost 20 years old, but I would still place this in the new school category. Two sisters bicker over harboring, harboring a fugitive. Yes. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't believe what I've, what I've got going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> We've they got are one. Team right now. <laughs> Dude, uh, I'm curious. Is your it, does your wife know the answer to this one? Just yes or no. Does she know it? Does she think they're, she... they're inside? But they're oh okay. They're trying to distract me. <laughs> Two sisters <laughs> bicker over harvesting, harboring a fugitive. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. What if I said the word like a, two, a movie with two sisters in it? Like I'm, just, you know, you got Frozen, yeah. but obviously that's not it. And uh, and I'm, I'm trouble thinking of another one. What would you think if I said Ohana? Oh, Moana. I oh, know Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, yes. Lilo and Stitch. Oh, oh, no wonder I can, can't stand that one. Oh, I yeah. love, that's probably one of my favorites. I love Stitch. Probably my least favorite. <laughs> I love Stitch. <laughs> Once again, that description makes sense. It does. It does. I, I don't even think of Lilo's sister because you only see her like twice in the whole movie. But it All makes right. perfect sense. Final one. A small group of co-workers makes a little girl bipolar. Oh, uh, Inside Out. Yeah, there you go. That's a funly described one. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> a small group of co-workers make a little girl bipolar. I love that one. <laughs> you enjoy that one, Cody? That actually went a little bit quicker than I thought it would. Did you have any lined up for non-Disney movies, Stephen? Yes. I have I have I have some really good ones that I thought were hilarious. So <laughs> hey, well, Steve, here's you start. my first one. Have, hold on, hold on. Have y'all seen uh y'all watched the Practical Jokers, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Have y'all seen the skit where they're in the room and they're doing like a uh an interview or they're doing the uh uh where they just ask questions or whatever. What I forget what those. And are they got the people uh, yeah. behind the glass. Yes, and so the glass is is is. <laughs> is that what is, they're doing? Uh, you know, it, it's 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 not see through, and then it is, and they right. do something funny and try to make them laugh. That's exactly what's happening to me right now. They're on the other side of the glass door. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I feel like Sal. I'm just losing. So, I'm losing terribly. Th this one, this one won't be. So, so we, we will, it won't be for competition, just for fun. This one. So my first one is grumpy emo chick ponders whether to shag a corpse or a dog over several years. Oh, that's uh, that that that, that the one with one of my girlfriends in the sparkly vampire. What's the movie? Uh, 
I'm I'm cheating. Sparkling no, vampire movie. I know, I know you did. Yeah. Uh, it's Twilight. That's it. I don't like the movie. I like Bella. <laughs> so this, this one should be fairly easy. <laughs> but I'll, it's just short and sweet. Oh, he's breaking up a little bit. Group spends nine hours returning jewelry. Group spends nine hours returning jewelry. Returning jewelry. Oh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I <I'm> suck. <laughs> no, so this this one's kind of this one's kind of it's kind of bad. Everyone try the ice bucket challenge. Titanic. Titanic. That's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got one. Oh, I died. I was like, whoa. That's excellent. <laughs> um, talking frog convinces son to kill his dad. Talking frog? Convinces a son to kill his dad. I don't know if I've seen this. I don't remember any movie with a talking frog. <laughs> It's one of the popular. It's one of the most popular series of movies ever. 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 Fast talking, and the Furious. No, talking frog <laughs> convinces a son to kill his dad. I don't know. <laughs> it's Star Wars Episode Five. <laughs> I was taken. Frog, seriously. Yeah, I know. <laughs> just, they, they referred to Yoda as a frog, and I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> um, drug addicted girl takes advantage of mentally challenged boy for three decades. Like what? <laughs> drug addicted girl takes advantage of mentally challenged boy for three decades. Is there a reason they use the word decades instead of just saying thirty years? Uh, not, not really. Uh, pretty much, drug addicted girl takes advantage of mentally challenged boy, boy his entire life. <laughs> here's, here's your hint: your mama still doesn't care about your education, boy. <laughs> as far as go, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one, this one, this one's this one's Disney. A guy that's alone in the forest kisses a dead body while seven other guys watch. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Noseless guy has an unhealthy obsession with a teenage boy. Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> Look, and like I said the other day, Cody, you weren't at work. I really am a fan of the Harry Potter movies. But I just can't shake that feeling that the character of nearly headless Nick was poorly executed. <laughs> oh, gosh. Here's one. It is, it is an animated film. Guy, lear Guy learns to love a girl without her <laughs> Instagram filters. Shrek? Yeah, Shrek. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. <laughs> so this this one's another messed up one kind of like the Titanic the one where Jennifer Aniston lost her man in front of the world she lost her man in front of the world who is Jennifer Aniston married to that left her for and somebody else Brad Pitt I mean he's been in a few movies but with her specifically well, well not with Jennifer Aniston but I, I can't think. It's, it's Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Well, that's when he was with his other wife. Yeah. <laughs> Brangelina. Accurate. So this one's actually a television series. People drink coffee for 10 years. Oh, that's friends. Yeah. <laughs> I've, only, I've only seen that entire series five or six times. And I think I'm on the the lower end of the addiction spectrum on that show. Right. Okay, so I got two more. A family's Airbnb experience goes very wrong. 
I want to say RV, but I don't think that counts because that's they rent that RV. Uh, fifth element. Nope. Yeah. I I give up on that one. Here. No. Oh, Johnny. Uh, okay. The Fun shining. fact. Fun <laughs> fact. <laughs> Now, I rewatched right. that movie. Here's the last one. I was going to say, fun fact, I rewatched that movie about two weeks ago because my wife informed me that she had never seen it, and it blew my mind. So we instantly watched... Uh, we were trying to decide between Midsummer or the Suspiria remake, and then in the process of trying to decide that, she let it slip that she's never seen The Shining. I'm like, okay, well, we just figured out what we're watching. So. Has she seen the new one yet? No, we're gonna watch it now that we've seen The Shining. Yeah, that was. I actually really enjoyed it. I've heard it was very well, good. I enjoyed it. I thought it was very good. Um, so the last one, mentally unstable billionaire wants to make home great again, is criticized by clowns. Batman. Yeah. Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah that was it. <clears throat> Cool deal. Well, everybody, we're going to uh, wrap this episode up. We don't want to keep Cody too long. We've already kept him a little bit longer than I wanted to. We had a little mishap on our first recording. Uh, anybody that does anything like this on Windows or deals with software knows that one update can screw everything up. And we got about seven, eight minutes into the first time trying to record this, and I realized there was no audio recording so this was our second take so we're gonna go ahead and get this wrapped up and let cody finish enjoying his vacation let him get back to his his wife and family who's apparently over there just trying their best to make him laugh while he's being recorded for the podcast i just wanted to say going forward we are going to uh try something a little bit new uh we're gonna try and whittle these down to one or two main topics and i'm gonna attempt to put a little more production into these things uh we'll go ahead and give you a heads up next week we are gonna be looking at dumb criminals <laughs> and mistakes they made and just funny clips of criminals being dumb and getting caught because they made stupid mistakes and we're gonna try and put a little more uh, production value behind it so if you're an audio listener uh, if everything works out the way I'll see it happening in my head you're going to want to check out the video version of next week's podcast but I want to thank Cody for taking time out of his vacation to record this uh, like I said <laughs> I I won't be able to in September. I'm not sure boat Wi-Fi is going to be strong enough to support recording a podcast. <laughs> but uh, well, you that's... have the uh, brains end of it anyway, so <laughs> you, you need your big you need your big space computer to to put all this in there. <laughs> no, it's like I told the guys. Uh, it's not you know Stevens was completely different. His you know they were doing a family Disney trip. Um, uh, I know that's just busy 24 seven. Alan's going to be on a boat. I'm literally been at this resort. I'm either in the pool or I'm sitting in here relaxing. So it wasn't anything for me to take a little time out of the day to do this. So, uh, wasn't a big, wasn't a problem. It's glad to be here. Although I really wasn't here because <laughs> I really <laughs> sucked it up on the trivia, <laughs> but it's all good. It's okay. I did tell you about it. 12 to 3. I'm really surprised it was that close. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to come up with another uh, Disney trivia because we all know that ties are like kissing your sister and we can't have y'all tied. So I need to come up with a, a good, challenging Disney game and we will pitch y'all together one last time to see who is the true Disney victor. Sounds good. I about it. All right, until next time, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Be sure 
like, subscribe, share the video. Let's get it out there. We're going to keep powering forward. We're going to change a few things up. We're going to put a little more production into this going forward. We're going to try and make it better value for your time. We do appreciate your time. We thank you for watching. Everybody have a wonderful week. Peace yeah. out.